Hello Team Power Sports fans and motorcycle fans alike. Welcome back to the TPS Moto Vlog, the most exciting show on YouTube about motorcycles that is run by a dealership. My name is Sarah. I'll be your host today. And let me tell you, TPS fans, I have been looking forward to this day for over a year, ever since Can-Am announced the Riker. This is the newest in their line of three-wheel vehicles. And uh, I know it's kind of deceptive from the view that you get from the camera, but this is a tiny machine. The spiders, like those over there, being much larger, uh, this Riker only weighs 616 pounds. Obviously, much more trimmed down than the spider, its larger compatriot. Wow, what a cool looking trike this is. So the Riker comes in two configurations. There is a 600cc version, which is a parallel twin. This, on the other hand, is the 900cc version. It's an inline three-cylinder, 80-horsepower engine that's hooked to a continuously variable transmission, a CVT. And down here on this oh-so-stylish single-sided swing arm is a shaft final drive. Can-Am has already announced hundreds of accessories for this. So if you see these black panels here, those can be swapped out for different colors, and they're releasing new limited edition colors every six months. So it's really cool, you know, a way to change up the style. Even though you've got the same machine, you're going to be able to swap out the colors on it. I really, really, really like something that they have done here. They have actually made it so that certain things are customizable on the fly. So you see where the foot peg is here in the forward position. The foot peg itself is a latch. And I can adjust that foot peg back to a more standard style riding position. Incredible. The handlebars are the same way. It has this latch here that I push upward. And the handlebars can now slide forward or backward. Super cool. Now, this is kind of crazy. The gas tank is here beneath this cover, and there's no gas cap. This is this thing is the gas cap. And it just slides back and forth and covers where the gas goes in. Innovation. Super cool. There's also a small amount of storage here in the very front. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm excited about this. Now here's, uh, here's something kind of crazy. This is the key. You clip it in right here, and it has an RF chip in it, and now the bike knows that the key is on the bike. Let's take a look. So you put it into the run position, click the starter once to wake it up. Now here, on the dashboard, it tells me to read the safety card, which I have, in fact, read. So this is kind of weird. You actually roll the handlebar, or roll the throttle forward one, and that gets the bike into wake-up position. Now, from the wake-up position, I can go to settings, RPM, fuel stats, and autonomy. This is uh, where I'm going to want to go. So when it gets to autonomy, I push and hold. I can go into sport mode. I can go into eco mode or I can go into Eco Off. Now, what these do, or Sport Mode, means there's no traction control and 100% throttle at all times. If I do that same thing and go into Eco Mode, traction control and vehicle stability are on, and it reduces a little bit of the throttle that you would get to make sure that you're trying to save a little bit of gas and make sure that you get excellent fuel range. And then sort of your standard mode, if you will, is just Eco Off. Cool. Now, since this is a CVT-style uh, transmission, I'm just going to kind of lean over so you can see, there is a gear shift here that is far away from the foot peg because they don't want you jamming this thing between reverse and forward when you're going down the road. Reach down and clip it backwards. It does have a little warning sound to let you know you're going backwards, and then I roll the throttle back, and the machine goes backwards. I just jam it forward into the forward position. So, with no further ado, let's take this bad boy out on the road, shall we? Oh, whoa, ho, whoa! Oh boy, that is a lot faster than I was expecting it to be. Wow! 
oh man, this thing really comes to life. So the first thing that I'm really noticing is that when you get on the throttle with it, it does have that CVT sort of, uh, sort of wind up. And then once the pulleys are in position for optimal torque, it just ah, connects. And this 900 triple has a very pleasing engine note. I can I can tell this is a this is a lot more responsive than the Spider. Oh, holy smokes! I just wasn't expecting it to jump out like that. And of course, like the rest of the Spider or three wheel Can Am family, this does have the one pedal that breaks all three wheels. All right, that's enough of the training wheels protocol. Now we're in sport mode. Ooh. So I'm thinking what sport mode is doing for me is it's keeping me from having to turn the throttle as much to get the same kind of throttle response. One thing that you're going to have to get used to when you're riding a three-wheel vehicle like the Riker or like the Spider is that you do want to stay in the center of the lane. It's not like a motorcycle where you're trying to ride on the left or the right side of the oil skid there in the middle of the road. With this, because it's so wide, you are going to want to try and track towards the center. Now the CVT in this thing is great because I'm not even losing torque in the high end. It's like, uh, it's like when you're on a motorcycle and you're cruising along at 45 miles an hour in 5th or 6th gear, low RPM. You have to shift down from 6th into 4th if you want to get any kind of acceleration, but since this has a CVT, all you have to do is twist and it's going to automatically adjust that CVT to make sure that you have the correct amount of torque. So here I am, mid-throttle, 40 miles an hour. If I want to accelerate, I just twist and it rockets off. So the riding position is very comfortable. I have it set with my feet in the all the way forward position and my, wow, that is a big old turkey buzzard. I have my feet set in the all the way forward position and I have my hands also set in the all the way forward position. Sort of a, a traditional cruiser or bobber style, um, style seating position. So riding a spider is, uh, is very rider active in the sense that you would think because it's three wheels and it's going to have the stability that you're not going to be moving around on the bike like you do with a, uh, with a motorcycle. But when you're turning left, you're actually turning the handlebars to the left and you're going to want to lean into any left or right hand corner that you're going into to make sure that you keep your weight centered over the corner. Otherwise, you're going to, to experience a, uh, a significant amount of body roll in a performance cornering setting. Well, TPS fans, the Riker has no problems on the highway. Here we are at 70 miles an hour. I am not even close to the top of this thing's RPM range. Now that I've been on it for a few minutes, you know what this bike is? This is the hooligan bike of the three-wheel sector. It's absolutely a blast to ride. And I really, really like the looks like these folks over here. They, yeah, they think it's pretty cool. Absolutely, absolutely it's cool. <laughs> All right, Team Power Sports fans, there it is. The 2019 Can-Am Riker. This machine is awesome, and it gets the Team Power Sports stamp of approval. It has the power, it's got the handling, it's got the feel, it's got the size. Just everything about this bike is absolutely awesome. Can-Am knocked it out of the park with this one. And for the base model to come in at $84.99, and for this $900 at only $99.99, this is going to revolutionize not just the three-wheel market, but probably the power sports industry. I'm going to give this bike 10 out of 10. I'm going to give this bike 11 out of 10. This is the most fun I've had in a long time. And they have really really, really knocked it out of the park with this one. If you want to see it in person, we're here at Team Power Sports Garner at 222 US 70 East in Garner. You can check us out on the web at www.team-powersportsgarner.com. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Team Power Sports, hashtag TPSNC. I hope to see you down here. Have a great day. <laughs>